Hey what's up guys welcome to fine gap youtube channel and in today's video i'm going to teach you how we can insert data through a html form in our mysql database using php so without any delay let's start as in the previous video we know that we successfully created our php connection with our database so let me zoom out a little bit and from here i will comment this and now we have do our first operation which is create so first of all i will type here exclamation mark so we can what we can do so we can create a basic html structure here and here i will create another file like insert hyphen data dot php and from here i have to cut this complete code and paste inside this file and next similarly in this file i will type a title like insert data into my sql and we know that we use html forms to get data from user so first of all here i will get a form from our user and here it is asking me for action this time i will insert i will post my data into another file you can see that i have created a file insert data dot php so i will just simply type here insert data dot php now our this form will be posted to this file and here we can write our php code to insert data in the mysql database so i have typed here action is equal to our file name which is insert data dot php and method is equal to method would be post and similarly inside this as we know that in the tbl students let me zoom in a little bit we create four columns the first id we don't need to get id from the user because this is auto in in increment when i will insert next record this id will be incremented automatically let me show you a demo here i will uh, click for like insert and name like fahim and demo at the rate of gmail.com and email and similarly i will type here 03 06 so similarly just i have typed here phone number and i will press here go so you can see that one row is inserted and here you can note that the id that we did not insert it is automatically inserted and incremented by one so that's why we don't need to uh, get id from the user we will just get these three things name email and phone number so here inside my form i will create an input of type text and its name would be equal to double quotation like username and similarly i will type here name and here i will type a br tag next i will type here email input type would be email uh, in the previous video that we learned that how to validate user email but you can also type here uh, input type is equal to email if you will do so it will not allow uh, html form will not allow the user uh, the user to submit the form without inserted a valid email so here i will type for placeholder or let me remain uh, let me not type the placeholder just simply i will type here a name equal to user underscore email and here i can also type underscore and next i will type here br tag two times for a line break and last thing we have to get a phone number for this i will also create an input of type text and its name would be user phone and in the last i will again press br tag two times and after this i will create an input and the type of this input would be submit so let me open my browser and refresh this so you can see that currently we have this form and uh, and inside this insert data i'm going to currently just comment this line of code and also let me comment this for a temporary purpose and here i will type here echo pre tag again print r dollar underscore post and in the last i will type here echo pre closing tag and semicolon and now what i will do i will simply type here a name like fine gap 
info at the rate of fine gap dot com and similarly a dummy phone number and when i will click on this submit button you can see in the url that the form is submitted to inside data dot php and here we have print our dollar underscore post super global array and here you can see that the keys that we add inside inside our html form and these are the values that i inserted inside these input fields while submitting the data so we have successfully uh, get the values inside this file now what we have to do let me uh, remove this these things will be required so i will uncomment them and after this after creating database connection let me also remove this and also i will remove this and here i will type like username is equal to dollar underscore post and here what i will type username you can also copy this from this name attribute i will copy this username from here and paste at this position semicolon similarly i will create another variable like email is equal to dollar underscore post and from here we have to copy the value of this name attribute which is our email attribute and we have to paste that value here semicolon and in the last i will create another variable named phone and similarly i need to create a post super global and inside this i will copy the value of this name attribute uh, which is a phone number and i will paste this and press semicolon here so by using this technique what we will do uh, the data that user will type in html form we will get those values and store them inside our this php variable the next part is we just have to insert our data in mysql what you will do first of all you will create a variable sql you can create any variable that you want like query sql or something else but i have create here sql and from here let me zoom out a little bit and here you can see that you you can see a tab for sql just click on this but before clicking on this make sure you have selected your that desired table first of all select database then your table and then click on this sql tab and from here you can see a insert button just click on this this will provide you my sql code to insert data in that specific table i just need to simply press control a control c to copy this and type here double quotes and semicolon and inside this sem uh, double quotes just paste your query like this so what it is saying just notice insert into this is a keyword for our mysql and here you can see that it is in this single quotes it have typed our table name which is tbl underscore students we know that we were created in the previous video a table named tbl underscore students so here it is mentioning the table name and next you can see that here we have a starting small bracket and a closing small bracket inside this bracket we have our four column names i will remove this comma and this id from here because as i told you that we don't need to get id from the user because ids are to increment it and from here i will also remove this a uh, value one code like this and similarly the first uh, column is name that's why i will remove this big bracket and value to from here and i will type here phone uh, sorry username and make sure to add single quotes around your these variables if you will not do so it will create an error and similarly make sure uh, you can these are not single quotes uh, this is the word that you will able to see before one and to the upper of your tab so this is that sign and similarly next we know that we have email so i will remove this section and i will copy my this email variable and paste that variable here and we know that our third value is phone number similarly what i will do i will remove this value from here and from here i will copy my this phone variable and paste that variable here so we have completed our query 
make sure to write this query as it is if you will make any mistake uh, your code will not work and maybe your code will not work and you will face some difficulties these are the mysql built-in keywords these are non-case sensitive you can write them in uppercase or in lowercase as well but remaining pattern would be same and similarly next currently we just have write a query now we have to execute this query using a php function so i will type here run is equal to my sqli underscore query this is a built-in function in php and it will ask you for two parameters the first parameter would be your database connection that we created in the previous video and the second parameter would be our sql query that we have created at this point and make sure to press semicolon and here i will type for like if run what i will do i will echo here like the data is inserted successfully semicolon and similarly in the else part i will type here echo error your data is not inserted and i will press here semicolon so we have done with our php code let me refresh this let me type here some data so we can test this so first of all i will type here name like maybe muhammad fahim a uh, dummy email like info at the rate of my email dot com and similarly we have to type here phone number so i will just type here dummy phone number like zero one two three four five six seven eight one thing you can notice that i have not done form validation here because currently i just want to teach you how we can insert data if you want to learn form validation i have already teached in the previous uh, uh, in the previous videos of the series you can watch that video that how we can validate form using php so currently i have just typed here my data and now i will press this submit button so you can see that the data is inserted successfully and when i will click on this and click on this browse tab press ok here you can see that uh, my name email that i was typed in our form and the phone number that data has been successfully inserted inside our database so friends this was the first operation of curd means create data that we have created successfully i recommend you to must practice this because if you will not practice uh, after a few days you will unable to understand that what we did and in that specific video so make sure to do practice practice and practice if you have any opinion that how we can improve our content you can uh, give your opinion in the comment section and also please subscribe to our youtube channel and share this video with your those friends who want to learn website development and finally thanks for watching